Um, the R value, let's pretend you have a ballpark number of uh, 300 a month. Does that sound fair? Everyone needs to take up their calculators. Let's pretend we have 300, 300 a month. And this was what future value meant. I'm trying to see how much I have at the very end. So in the first month, I put in $300, right? And how long am I waiting again? Uh, 48 years, right? So this is going to be multiplied by this interest rate for 576 months. With me? Yeah. Someone really quickly plug that into the calculator. I would like to know what that turns into at the very end of my 48 years. Then, the month after that, you put in another $300. At which point, I should get the same interest rate every month, but because I've waited a month, it's not 576 months, it's 575 months. It's, it's one month less than before. So somebody else, um, sorry, Michaela, can you do the first one for me? Okay, uh, Morgan, if you could, you have a calculator? Who has a calculator? Someone in front of them? Uh, Ethan, can you do the second one for me? I'd like to see what this turns into by the time we get to age 68, uh, 65. And the month after that, once again, you're being responsible. You put in another $300, and that's going to earn the same interest rate, of course, but for 574 months. Okay? And then stuff happens, stuff happens, stuff happens. Two months before retirement. Okay? I would put in another $300, which I would get the same interest rate for, but two months left. Get what I'm saying? So I want to know what that turns into, and we'll do one more, I just so on and so forth. I, I'm, I'm thinking you get the point. 300 here, but that's with this interest for one month. I want to know what all that is together. Yep. Second one or first one? First one. Oh. Thank you. Can, can, can you just quickly do the second one for me? Michaela, first one, go ahead. Um, 35,735 35, and? 25. 25 cents. We'll wait on Ethan. Someone, did I ask someone to do the third one? No? No. Yeah, can you do that for me? Um, 35,147. 147. 0.02. 0.02. And Ethan? 35,439.992. And I do this 576 times until I get my future value. Amazing. At this point in time, I need to, so I don't know what that is. Okay? So let's pretend. For the sake of example and the video, big money. My question to you is this: It's the idea of showering people with money. Morgan, this for everyone too. Julian, Morgan, this is a question for you, but also a question for everyone. Everyone, pretend I'm asking you this. You said you need 1.8 million as soon as you retire. Are you planning to spend all 1.8 million in the first year, just in complete debauchery? Right? And then the remaining 24 years, you're just going to sort of starve, collect welfare, and you know, just be like, wow, I can't afford heating. I'm really, really cool. Like, you're not going to live like that, right? So, what do you think? How much do you actually need in the first year of retirement? Do you calculate that from part, uh, uh, no, not from part A? How much do you need every year? Is that the total of one year? Just one year. Okay, I think it's 39,000. 39,000? And A, just 80? Zero, 80, zero. Oh, okay. If you need this much, but you've collected this much, do you see how you have some money left over? For everyone else, do you see how you have some money left over? Where does the rest of that money go? 1.8 million, you take away 40,000, you still have 1.76 
million dollars. Okay, well, then we're going to buy a house, go to a vacation, oh, play. No, no, no. Remember, <laughs> this, this is supposed to be your retirement fund. Did we not say we're not going to waste in complete debauchery? If I spend this much, I still have close to 1.8 million, and 1.8 million is going to continue to grow. So here's the abstract thinking portion. Do you actually need 1.8 million exactly at 6 and 5 and 8 uh, years of old, 8 years of age? You can have less because it's still going to continue to grow. This is present value. If I need, so here's the part, here's the math portion. If I need this much at the age of 65, how much do I need at the age of 65? What? Yeah, it's not a trick question. Just answer it clearly. If I need this much at the age of 65, how much do I need at the age of 65? <laughs> right. If I need $39,080 at the age of 66, how much do I actually need at the age of 65? In other words, you have one year to build interest. So do I need more money here or do I need less money here? Less money. You see what I'm getting at? Julian, if you're planning, if you're saving up for a vacation for next year, do I need all of that money right now? No. no. In the same way, if you're saving up for this much next year, how much money do you need now so that you can grow to that to next year, right? So do you see how it's sort of different, but I'm going in opposite? Next, I need $39,080 at the age of 67. I have two years to get to that point. How much money do I need right now to let it go to that point. Do you, do you think it'll be more than 38,000 or less than 38,000? Less. That is the idea of present value. How much do I need now to reach How much do I need now so that I can give myself a payout of 39,000 every year. And it's going to be less right now. Do you want to calculate it? Well, let me give you the, the long way and the annoying way, and then we're going to start using that formula that you see in uh, part F. Okay? So here's the deal. I have some amount right now, and I'm going to be So let's, let's talk about this. We have a principal that I do not know. I have my interest rate is 10%. Let's pretend it's still 10%. How many times am I taking out money a, uh, a year? Just once. So that's one. And how many years am I taking out? Retirement, retirement until you pass away. Everyone, what's 25. 25. And so... That's all I need. My final amount, my total amount, needs to be 39,080. So the question is, what principle multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 1 to the power of 25 times 1 gives me 39,080? I made a mistake. It's not 25 years right now. I only look for one year. So. If I earn this interest for one year, how much do I need now to get this next year? Someone work that out for me? So in other words, how do I get P all alone? Wait, we're good? Divide it. By? 1.1. Go for it. Show me. Take our calculators. Do something. Okay? P is... How much do I need now? Uh, Don't do it in your head. Just take a I didn't Come on, Angel. Plenty. My cousin, he broke my calculator last weekend. 35527.27. Five, 
So do I need all 39,000 right now? No. Because in one year, it's going to grow to that. Let's do it one more time. What is a principle that I would need if I'm going to get this principle for, I'm oh, sorry, this interest for two years to turn it into $39,080? What do I need now? I have a calculator. You can use your phone if you like. Can you do that for me? Can we do that? Okay. So this is 1.1 squared. And so this big number is divided by 1.1 squared. I would put that on phone. Hmm? So hard to do it. I keep getting dropped. That's fine. Press the button that transfers. Go down. Maybe. Classic room. Classic? Maybe. Show 39082 so divided by 1.1. Oh, there it is. There it is. 32? 32,297.522. So do you get it? You don't actually need all 1.8 million when you get to 65. Why? Because you still have time. You have 24 years, you have 23 years, you have 22 years, you have 21 years for each little piece to grow. So, my question back to you then is, do you want to calculate 25 years worth of this to figure out how much you need right now, or would you like an easier formula? Easier. Okay, that, that, that's where we're getting.